Hello and welcome to another booktube video from me Lauren from Lauren and the Books. Very close aren't I? Um, today is the beginning of my Cambridge Literary Festival vlog. I have never been to a literary festival before and I thought it might be a nice thing to do to vlog baby's first literary festival. Um, I'm just about to leave my house. This is my house. Look at this jumper guys. Look at it. Sparkly, sparkly. Every time I'm anywhere that's got light it really reflects off this jumper so I feel very special in it. Um, I am going about just about to leave, just about to get in my car, pack my bag with my um pack my boot with my bags that I've got behind me, um, and then I'm driving to Cambridge and meeting Mercedes at the train station there. She's coming in from Norwich, and then um we're at Cambridge Literary Festival this weekend, which is very, very exciting. Can't remember if Mercedes has been to a literary festival before. Um, we have got no plans for the Friday in terms of literary talks to go to. Um, we're meeting up with Jen for lunch, which is nice. Um, and then we're probably going to go to some bookshops and things. Might have a look and see if there's any free events on or anything like that on the Saturday. Um, but on the Sunday we are packed out with events. We've got three events to go to. Um, one is um, about plastic. The other is about um, uh, two books that one that I've just finished now. Very very good. All amongst the barley by um, Melissa Harrison. Oh God, I hope it's Melissa Harrison. And um, A Winter's Journal by Horatio Clare. And then in the evening, the last talk we've got to go to is between Sarah Moss and Sarah Perry, which we're very, very excited to go to. So come along with us. We're staying in an Airbnb. I'm sure there'll be bookish stuff. There'll be all sorts going on. Rumour has it Mercedes has got a new haircut. And yeah, come along with us. <laughs> Hello. Hey. Hey. <laughs> we're in our Airbnb. Mercedes, would you like to give the tour? At all. No, I mean I'm following oh. you. Like, it, like, mind the step. <laughs> this is uh, where all the. Yes. This is the door. Yeah. This is where uh, Mercedes and I will be taking our marital bed <laughs> this evening. Um, this is the wardrobe. wardrobe. This is the sofa. sofa. This is where Laura will be sleeping. Well, do you know what? I might actually sleep here because um, <coughs> I've got period pain, and I feel like all I ever talk about is how much I've period pain. And you snore. And I snore. Oh, you do snore. No, I do. Did I snore last time I slept at your house? Oh, um, you you were breathing a little bit, but it was quite cute. <laughs> <laughs> um, have you ever seen? You probably were breathing not. a little bit. Don't breathe, please. Have you ever seen Disney's Hercules? Yeah. You yeah. know how Pegasus sleeps. <gasps> oh yeah. <laughs> it wasn't quite that. Cute. That's how David says I snore, but I don't think that is. Yeah. So anyway, that's this. We're sitting down here, and then this is the kitchen area. These are all the snacks and foods we've got. Peas and beans, there for breakfast, there for dinner tonight. Ice spice buns, these guys. We've been to a variety of shops to collate this, haven't we? Yeah. This is the little bathroom. I don't know where the light is to turn on here. Very small little bathroom, isn't it? Yeah. Mercedes has put all her products <laughs> down here. She's told me that I'm, I'm free to use any. Oh, you did get these? Yeah, I did. Oh, that's a lovely one. Yeah, but I, I'm... You don't like them? Well, I... <laughs> Right, Tell me. Really cool. Why don't you like them? <laughs> I used it once, um, and then I've washed them, and they've stained. Yeah, they do stay stained, and but they're, they're, they're clean. Soft now. Oh, there's nothing I can do about um, that. Also, do you use them to take your eye makeup? Yeah. <laughs> Good luck with that with mine. I'm much worried about um, Here's stuff. this. So yeah, and then I'm just cooking dinner. Um, we're having roast potatoes, which is what's happening here, with chestnut and red wine casserole, which is here. Mercedes is helping, aren't you, Mercedes? Yeah, I sort of give Lauren <laughs> drinks, stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, this is what she's just given me. Um, so yeah, so we're going to do that, and then we're, what we're going to do, just sit staring at each other for the <laughs> rest of the evening. We should have bought, like, I don't know what we could have bought. I've got my laptop, we can watch, like, some oh, videos yeah, yeah, and stuff. Yeah. So yeah, onwards. We're eating! <laughs> we're sat at the table a little dinner, aren't we? Looks quite delicious. Actually, I mean, how delicious can a uh, chestnut and mushroom stew look? It just looks like slop on a plate. It, it will be delicious. Yeah, the rest of the look delicious. The rest doesn't look delicious. Do I taste test it last? Please do! I've never tried this before. Okay, I think it's gonna be a bit hot for you. Oh, really? What is well, it spicy or temperature? There is not one drip of spice in there, Mercedes. <laughs> Go for it. It's on. I can always watch this back and really assess what I thought, what you think of it. <laughs> Come on. I'm scared of the heat. Come on. <laughs> nice. It's really nice. Oh, good. Phew. <laughs> Thank you. 
Mercedes. Morning. <laughs> We're just walking to the old divinity school. Is it called that? I keep calling it the wrong thing. No, it's called that, yeah. To pick up our tickets for today. We've got a plastic talk at half past 11. Yes. <laughs> um, a talk with Horatio Clare and Melissa Harrison at half past two. Yeah. And then Sarah Moss and Sarah Perry at four. Yes, correct. So that's well the timetable. We're just walking in. We had a lovely day yesterday, didn't we? Just traversing the yeah, city. Um, yeah, so we're looking forward to today and also I need to go back to a board game shop to buy a board game. Didn't you want to go somewhere as well? You're just worried about lunch. Yeah, yo sushi. Yo sushi for lunch. Mm. Which is the problem, obviously, with lots of recycling because it's always set up like a league table, like a football league or Premier League or something. How much can we put in the How day? much can we put in yeah. How much recycling can we make? We've just finished. Yeah. The Turning the Tide on Plastic by Lucy Seagull talk. Yeah. I really liked it. Yeah, Sadie's amazing. loved it. Yeah, yeah. Um, she's very, very engaging and like really so clear. interesting, clear. And it wasn't like, I didn't feel like she was catastrophizing at any point. No. It was really like, these are what we need to do and this yeah. is what's going to happen. And it felt really informative and inspiring, but yet not yeah. patronising. Not patronising yeah, at, at all. all. I recognised her and then I realised it was because she was from the one show. I, I, I don't watch the one show. So it's I quite good in yeah. terms of like a magazine show. Mm. They, like she, she had the, they had the weekend thing yeah. of, um, of, of doing reducing plastic. I'm really looking forward to reading the book. Yeah, I'm really looking, looking forward, forward to, to it. yeah, it sounds like as well as it being quite informative, there's like quite a lot of steps that you can take. Yeah, which is sort of what I wanted because yeah. like whilst I want to be informed, I also want to know what I can do about yeah. it as an individual. So I think I might do a little series of it on this oh, here yeah. channel. Um, I think I'm going to do that, but yeah, I also took notes, Mercedes. Yes, these, I'm so notes. happy. I saw you taking notes of like people's names and podcasts yeah. you mentioned. I'll send um, it to you. But and there I was... think to do that, I was like afterwards desperately trying to remember. But, well, I yeah. never do it, and then always afterwards I'm like, oh, I wish I'd remembered, so yeah. I just did it, so I took a few well notes done. and things, but enjoyed it. Now we're going to get Yo Sushi. Yeah, um, and that's, bear in mind, that was the one that we like didn't know the author had yeah. the book, and we were just like, oh, that sounds like it could be based literally on the book's title. So I'm excited. Really, really, really good. I'm excited to save plastic. I'm excited to eat some sushi. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. I got up, pulled the old cardigan on over my nightdress, and went to the creaking stairs and put on my boots. The yard was quiet. It's cobbles, the barn, and. So we've walked away from Melissa Harrison and Horatio Clare, but we both very much enjoyed it. Yeah. Um, they both did a reading from their book. Both of the readings were fantastic. Yeah. Melissa Harrison, it wasn't basically, a reading, it, it was, was a, a yeah. What do you call that? Remembering, I don't know. She remembered she basically like over a double page of her book, I would say. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and just read it just, and it was, it was amazing. Yeah. It was like, I felt like they gave me chills. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, and then Horatio Clare's um, reading was from his journal, which is also amazing. It was really good. And they were both really, really great. Yeah. What I did say is that I didn't feel like they needed a chair. Yeah. It was a, quite a nice chat between the it's pair of them. Because I get the, from their perspective why maybe they prefer a chair because yeah. then they don't have an extra job also. That's true. Questions. Yeah. But they were interested enough and had enough. And they were discuss. asking each other questions and I was really yeah. into that. Yeah, I was into agree. Yeah. yeah. Um, but he was really funny. Yeah. So I felt like they balanced each other out really nicely because yeah. I admire them both greatly and I'd happily hear both of them talk yeah. way longer. I feel like she was more serious. Serious. And, and she was, was trying to bring it back down to serious stuff she was, as well. And yeah. He was very jokey, but like yeah. really, he was really naturally funny. Yeah. So I think they sort of balanced each other, didn't they? Yeah. Because I think just her would be quite a serious 
deep talk and just him would would you wouldn't get much yeah you'd get more levity sort of so thing. both of us have read um all among the barley by melissa harrison and i said didn't i when i'd been to that talk i would probably think it was a five star too, book yeah and i do now think it's a five star book i yeah. gave it four stars i really really enjoyed it do you not sometimes think it's the moment you read it in there because i feel like when i was if i'd have i really enjoyed it but i feel like if i'd read that another time i could have easily given it five yes like, yeah 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 so so time. like i think maybe if i'd have gone home and read it now i'd have been like oh my god i love this yeah, but yeah. like just the added context of like uh, i don't really want to give many spoilers away from the book by the way look at that bloody lovely sky behind oh, yeah. us mercedes but like the her talking about the sort of um research into fascism she yeah, did and yeah. things really brought more to it so i mean that book i would definitely recommend i'm also at the moment reading um the light in the dark which is a winter journey yeah, and gonna, you're going to get that I'm now. Get that, yeah. <laughs> um, but that's really good. And that's um, Horatio Clare's talk about um, the season of winter mixed with um, like seasonal affective disorder and depression as well. Mm. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed yeah, it. it. Really good. Two it's for two. Yeah, Don't muck it up, Sarah Moss and Sarah Perry. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> One another. Um, but you set yourself a different task in novels, didn't you? I did. I think I've been very excited to have um, by the idea of exploring the Gothic as much as I could lovely yellow light on us with yeah. a bit of classical music in the background um we couldn't film when we got outside of sarah moss it's really sarah it was too dark so we're in the car now um again both very much enjoyed um really good. It, you yeah. had heard sarah perry speak before yeah with sarah waters yeah um which is exciting but they were both i mean both very eloquent yeah, and yeah. um i haven't read melmoth and was always a bit frightened of reading melmoth because it is scary the bit she read from it though was I fantastic it's really good yeah. Yeah, it um i just love listening to authors read their own books yeah. like, i get that even when i hear jen read her own books yeah, yeah. i'm like oh i just love it it's like one of my favorite things so yeah. to go and hear four authors read from their books today has yeah. been a right treat but yeah i really really loved yeah, it all three of the talks were really really good and we thought the lady was she called alex something the lady who's Oh, yeah, we should have had a look. Alex Carter, was it? She was amazing. The, the chair on the, the Sarah's talk. Um, she was really, really good. She really was really... Good. She had an amazing green velvet dress. I know. I should have, when she was saying any more questions, I should have said, where's your green velvet yeah, dress yeah, from? Yeah. It's so bloody lovely. Um, but yeah, it's been really, really good. Yeah. Um, first Literary Festival. Very much enjoyed it. Yeah. Your also first literary, like, yeah, first yeah, literary yeah, festival yeah. we've yeah. been to. Um, in my head, the only thing I will say, um, I thought there'd be like a lot more going on now because it wasn't like it's not that sort of it's not yeah, it's no, like it's not, it's not really they call it a festival yeah it's more like a sequence of events they've booked in rooms yes yeah, so so nothing in, other than those no rooms. not at all because yeah. in my head I was like oh we might see if there's any free events we can catch on Saturday I didn't see anything no, like that at all like that. it's all just booked, yeah. booked events yeah but um so that's what I had expected but. It, that didn't happen but that didn't yeah. lessen my enjoyment every talk i went to today i really really loved and we yeah. were actually saying oh could we pick our favorites and i would be hard pressed yeah, me too. to pick a favorite because it was just so good but really good speakers we're definitely going to try and come back aren't we yeah, yeah definitely. Um, and we're also going to have a look at our local universities as well yeah um norwich and kent which is yeah. where mercedes and i we both, both went, went to not at the same time not at the same time I'm an old lady. <laughs> um, but yeah, really, really enjoyed it. And we'll yeah. be keeping an eye out for what's going on. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this. I hope this doesn't end up being the thumbnail. <laughs> oh no, please don't make this be the thumbnail. You see, I'm really glary and you've just got like a little tiny round face, moon and, face. And also, I'm really cold, so my nose and my yeah. ears are probably really red. I'm going to go and drop Mercedes off at the train station now. So yeah, that's it. Drive home. Drive home. Only two hours though, should yeah, be all right. Yeah. Got mince pie. And we're both gonna have a bath. Obviously <sighs> not together because no, we'll be We'll just be sobbing, just tears, yeah. just away from one another. Yeah. Say bye Mercedes. Bye. bye.